Hello stamping friends, it's Tina Shaw from tinalovestostamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio. Today I wanted to show you the cute little card I made. And this is a case from Don Griffiths. And this particular card here that I made is very similar to hers. And the one that I'm going to show you today is, is just some different colors. Um, I just love the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and the beautiful um, designer series paper that goes with that. So let me show you first what I used. It comes in all one piece. And so when you stamp this stamp set, um, I recommend that you use the Stamparatus. And that way, uh, in case, you know, it's such a big, large stamp, uh, if you didn't get everything stamped perfectly the way you wanted it, you can re-ink it and do it all in the same exact place. So this is my first, uh, my first set that I bought. Here are the dies, and let me show you which ones I used. I used, um, this also cuts them all out at one time, which is awesome. And then there's these dies that go with it as well. And this is the one that I've used for today's card. And then let me show you my second. I made another purchase. And bought another set so in case I wanted to stamp on the inside of my cards I would have the the separate stamp to do that so um, that's the butterfly brilliance and the dies and here's the DSP it is so cute I love 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 the fun thing about this one the same die that cut out the stamped images also cuts out this page, the whole sheet at one time as well. Little hint, when you're cutting out such a large image again, make sure you have like three places, just check three places and make sure that they're lined up exactly where you want them to be. And then um, let me show you the other sides. They're so pretty. Look at the beautiful pastel muted colors. This one is the one that I used on that card in the back side. Here's another cute, cute butterflies. Love, love, love. And then this is the back side that we're using on the card today. And then here's another print and the back side, a cute little coral. More tiny little butterflies. Pretty, pretty. It, it reminds me of camouflage. It's so cute. Okay. And then more pretty, pretty pinks and jades. And um, I think misty moonlight. But it is just adorable. And if you like this, you will want to get this before the new catalog comes out. This is like a sneak peek that they are allowing us to order now. It's going to be in the um, annual catalog that comes out in May, and the paper will not be available then. So, okay, so here was my card, and then here's how it opens up. This is a pop and flip. It is so cute, and of course, you can have it set, set up and it stays up like that. So, so cute. And then I put another little butterfly inside, but on the card today, I'm gonna stamp it. So let's set that aside. Um, and today for the words, instead of using the ones that I used on that card, I'm using the Dragonfly Garden Set. I'm gonna put for a true friend on the outside and then you're an inspiration on the inside. So let's get started with piece of cardstock. This is the Calypso Coral. It's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. You want to give a good crease using your bone folder. And then here is the uh, designer series paper. And the designer series paper is called Butterfly Bayou. Bayou. Like New Orleans or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> so um, this one is five and a quarter by four. And then I've got another piece of Calypso. And this one is three inches by four inches. And then you're gonna score it at one, two, and three inches on the long side. And then make sure you use your bone folder and get all those score lines creased. And then I have a little piece of three fourths by two and a fourth, and this is scored at one and a fourth. So one piece, one side is a little bit longer than the other. I then cut out with my um, dies. This is the largest stitched oval that, that comes in the Stitched Shapes die set, and that's Calypso. And then I have the white, basic white cut out using um, the dies. This one is the third largest in the layering oval die set. I then cut out six of the butterflies. I showed you the great big dot. Here's all of them that it cuts out at one time. So you can do six different sized butterflies. Isn't that adorable? Love it. So I cut those out, of course, in Calypso. And then I cut out this one. And this one is using one of the pretty detail dies. It was the bigger one. Yep, yep, yep. This one here. There we go. Okay. And then I, yeah, the gold foil. All right. So anything else. I think that's all of my pieces besides my inside piece, which is a piece of basic white that's five and a quarter by four. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put this white piece on the inside of my card. I'm using my stamp and seal. Just try to get an even layer. And then on the front, I'm gonna put down this beautiful butterfly bio paper. You just wanna go along the outside of it because once you put this on the front of your card, then we're going to take our large stitched oval and you're going to go and run this through the cut and emboss machine and cut this piece out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran this through my machine and cut this out. And so the reason I didn't tape these together is because I wanted to use just that one. This one you can use on another card at a different time. Okay, so here's our cutout. So that piece is gonna go right there when we're finished, when we get closer to being finished. Now I'm gonna take my um, oval and I'm going to use my Calypso Coral ink pad. And I'm just gonna put for a true friend, just right down on the bottom right in the center, okay. And then while I'm at it, since I have my ink out, I can go ahead and do, you are an inspiration. And then I'm gonna put this one, like Dawn did, over on this side. So now you're gonna take this piece and you're going to attach it to that one. And I'm going to use my dimensionals on the back. It can be messed up. Pull off the backs. And then I'm just going to pop this one right here. Try to get it in the center as much as I can. Okay. Now, I'm going to get this piece that we've already cut out, and I'm going to take it and fold it in half. And then I'm going to take my 
um, seal and run across this edge. Get a piece of green something, paper, tape. Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it right up against the inside and in the right up close to the fold line. You don't want it exactly on the fold line or else it won't close right. So I just have it almost butted up, but not quite. So let's see if this will close. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to take it and fold it down again. And I'm going to take my seal and I'm just going to run a line across the top. Like that. Just one line. And then I'm going to close that. Give it a rub like that. Okay, take my little piece here and I'm going to put the longer edge, remember it's two and a fourth and then it's scored at one and a fourth. So I'm gonna take this one and a fourth edge and I'm going to put some seal on it. Not quite to the edge. And then I'm just going to try to get that close to the center, like that. And then I'm going to put it up like that, fold it up. And then I think I just glued that too. Okay, then I'm just going to put me some more um, seal. And then I'm gonna lay this right down in the center and then give it a rub. And then you see how it comes up when you open the card like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my butterfly cutouts and on this one, I'm just gonna run a little line of glue because I don't want to use um, my seal on it because it would be sticking out of where I don't want it to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this down, this little antennae there. Just glue that right, um, just right in the center. Okay. And just hold that for a, a minute, a few seconds, just until it sticks. Okay, so now I'm going to take on the back and I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals in the center. Right there and right there. Okay. And then I'm going to give him a little fold. And then I'm gonna put that right up above where it says true friend. Isn't that so cute? <gasps> now when you open it, it pops up. So cute. Love it. I showed you how I bought an extra set of butterflies, an extra stamp set. And I'm going to ink this up using the Calypso Coral, and I'm just gonna stamp him right there. Isn't that so cute? Love it. Okay, so now, let's see what the pearls look like. You know, butterflies need pearls. <laughs> Mind you. So I'm going to put a big one up at the top. Oh, that's cute. And then I want some smaller ones. I think I want this size here. Open a new pack. Okay, so I'm going to use my medium sized. And just go down here. There. Mm -hmm. 
There, I think that's good. Isn't that beautiful? It's so cute. Okay, and then, just because I love to have bling, I want to put on some holiday rhinestones. So let's see, we could do some yellow. The one, yellow. There we go. Do a couple. And then I'm going to put a couple of the reds. Look how that picks that up. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Okay, so that is my take on the pop and flip card. Here was the one that I first did, and then here's the one that we did today. I like the two wing feature on that one. So here they are opened. Aren't they just so cute? And then there they are closed. And yes, they will fit inside of an envelope to mail. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will give these a try. They are so cute. Um, I'm going to try on uh, using other things besides the butterflies, but the butterflies just fit perfect. So Anyway, have a good day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you really soon. Bye.